In Ukraine, the Major General of the Russian Army, Pavel Klemenko, who commanded the 5th Separate Motorized Rifle Brigade named after Alexander Zakharchenko, was killed. Russian pro-war publics were the first to report this. Telegram channel, Vazny Istoriai managed to verify the identity of his sisters who left comments on the post in the public, Donbass, heart of Russia. This post was later deleted. General sister Ekaterina Klemenko confirmed the information about his death to the publication Astra. Telegram channel, Spy Dossier, published a document with the circumstances of the death of Major General of the Russian Army Pavlo Klemenko in the occupied Donetsk region. It says that a high-ranking military man, along with a group of fighters, was attacked by FPV drones while traveling on motorcycles. As a result, Klemenko received numerous injuries and fractures. Reports indicate that soldiers from this brigade killed Russell Bentley, an American working for Russian propaganda, in April 2024. Vazny Astoriai reported that this marks the 13th reported death of a Russian general in the full-scale war against Ukraine, with only eight of these confirmed by Russian authorities. Klemenko is a native of Stavropol, Russia, who served in annexed Crimea prior to the invasion of Ukraine. He was promoted to Major General in May 2024. In April, Klemenko's fighters reportedly tortured Vladimir Frolov, an illegally conscripted music teacher with a third-degree disability. Frolov, who sought demobilization due to his health, was instead taken to the torture basement of the 5th Brigade. His death certificate claimed he died during an assault, but relatives stated that his body was so severely disfigured by torture that he had to be buried in a closed coffin. An investigation by Russian media showed that Klemenko ran a concentration camp-style torture facility for Russian soldiers at an abandoned Petrovska mine in Donetsk. There, soldiers are allegedly tortured to force them to hand over their salaries and compensation for injuries to their commanders, sometimes with commanders intentionally wounding them to claim these funds. Сейчас. Сейчас покажу, как поселили наших друзей из Северной Кореи. Холодильник, плазма ебать, спальные места, нихуя себе, не на полу ебать, как мы. Генератор там стоит, газовая плита, чайник. Вот буржуйка, а мы ебать в грязи, в говне, по уши. Зато, зато они, блядь, в тепле. Вот. Сейчас. Сейчас покажу, как поселили наших друзей из Северной Кореи. Холодильник, плазма ебать, спальные места, нихуя себе, не на полу ебать, как мы. Генератор там стоит, газовая плита, чайник. Вот буржуйка, а мы ебать в грязи, в говне, по уши. Зато, зато они, блядь, в тепле. Soldiers of the occupying Russian army have released images of the convoy of armored vehicles destroyed as a result of Ukrainian army strikes on the road called the Road of Death. As can be seen from the footage shared by the invaders who were moving fast in a passenger car and trying to avoid the next strike, a large number of armored combat vehicles and military trucks were blown up and burned as a result of artillery and drone strikes. A large number of military equipment destroyed by previous strikes can also be seen on the road.
Dozens of Russian drones targeted the Ukrainian capital Kyiv in a nighttime attack that lasted eight hours, authorities said Thursday, as Russia kept up its relentless pounding of Ukraine after almost 1,000 days of war. Russian forces fired lone drones and swarms of drones that entered Ukrainian airspace from various directions and at a variety of altitudes, officials said, in an apparent attempt to stretch air defense systems and unnerve city residents. Ukrainian air defenses neutralized three dozen drones but falling debris caused damage to a hospital and residential and office buildings in the capital, local authorities said, including a blaze on the 33rd floor of an apartment building. At least two people were reported injured. Drone attacks on Kyiv have recently been occurring almost daily, with the nighttime explosions and the continuous buzzing sound of drones keeping the city on edge. Russia is currently deploying about 10 times more Iranian-made Shahid drones than it was this time last year, Ukraine President Volodymyr Zelensky said earlier this week. Леана, дайте, кто не будет на вы! Андрюха! 